Hi. Just before the audio starts, I wanted to let you know that I have a Patreon with a bunch of paid member exclusive audios, one of which was made literally today about you and your friend practicing lines for a play. And you confess, it's very cute. It's very sweet. <laughs> and if you pay on my Patreon for only $5 a month, you get access to weekly polls every Thursday to figure out what the Friday audio would be. This audio and the Patreon audio, courtesy of that poll, I do this every week, where the winner is the YouTube audio and the runner-up is the Patreon audio. And also, you get access to the Discord with a bunch of lovely lovelies and sweet people and me, who you can talk to. Anyway, if that interests you, there's a link in the description. But if not, that's all right. And without further ado, enjoy the audio. And, um, Stephen has been all right. He uh, got a job, finally. Yeah, he's not just crashing on Noel's couch. Starting to contribute a bit to their rent. So, you know, I was proud for him. Yeah, I know it's been hard for him to find a job, but I landed a good one. It's an interesting one, too. It was a starting position at a vet. He'll be uh, administering simple medications and carrying big old dogs up and down stairs because, you know, like me, he's a big boy, so <laughs> gotta get the utility out of him. Um, who else? Because I haven't got you up with me. Um, I've been I've been okay. Yeah. Um, you know, um, finals coming up. Been studying for those. Um, looking for a summer job. Yeah, because, you know, the one I usually get, they ain't hiring. Or at least their position that I usually take is already full. So, gotta look for work somewhere else. How fun is that? Um, don't have any plans for the summer. But I've um, been playing a bit of Terraria. I've started doing hardcore runs where, you know, you die, your character is just deleted. And you keep the world, but I've been deleting the world because, you know, I like to completely start over. And I'm probably on my best run yet. Killed the first boss, have full gold armor, and a bunch of um, equipment. Almost all of which gives me some sort of defense bonus. And I'm playing in normal mode because, you know, I wanted to start simple for a, a hardcore experience, even though I'm very good at the game. Because, you know, there's a lot of things that can kill you in Terraria. There's a lot of traps and bullcrappery. So, um, I made it far. I've got full gold armor, beat the first boss. I have, I think, close to 27 defense, which is insane. That's like some pre-hard mode crap. There's a lot of defense on my character right now. And I managed to find an enchanted sword, which is very rare, but I found it, and it's by far my best weapon. It's actually what I used to kill the first boss, because it shoots a projectile. Yeah, I, before I stopped playing last night, I ran down to the corruption, broke a shadow orb, got a musket, and um, after class today, I'm probably going to get on and wait for the guard.
goblin army to come by and try and fight them. Yeah, I might make a lava trap. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. I might just take the blunt and try and fight them. I don't know. In terms of other games I've been playing, um, I started playing Spyro, the Reignited Trilogy, since, you know, I've been playing uh, the Insane Trilogy and I 100%ed uh, the first game. The second game is already a bit more complex, and I'm like, well, how the frick do I get that? <laughs> So I was like, you know what, I, I love Crash. These games have really started to, you know, interest me. So I was like, you know what, I will, um, I'll see what else. And then, you know, I knew Spyro and Crash back in the day, back in the PlayStation 1 and 2 eras. They were like, you know, the two games people would play on those consoles. And I will admit, um, a fair bit th way through the the first of the three Spyro games in the Reignited Trilogy. It's pretty good. I like it a lot. I do like 3D platformers, so it's interesting. There are a few levels that have been a bit frustrating, but it's just been because I've been adept. But, yeah. In terms of any other games I've been playing, nothing much else. Kind of been pretty difficult. I know this probably goes without saying, but I miss you. I didn't realize how big of a part you played in my life until, you know, you were kind of forced to be away from it for a while. I know this is bullcrap, but I feel like I didn't, I didn't appreciate you enough. You do so much for me. God, you make me so damn happy. You have made me happy in ways I didn't even think possible. You have sat me down and gave like a Mike Tyson uppercut to my depression and I'm like, oh, it has been awarded off. <laughs> I didn't know that was possible, but here we are. <sighs> and... You know, after two months of you being absent from my life, it just stings. <sighs> the doctors have given mixed signals on where you stand with all this. Some have said, oh, she just needs time. Others have said, oh, she might be in there for a while. Some have said, oh, might not be coming back. I know you. You're not gonna let yourself go out like this. 
You're not gonna let some bullcrap coma just pull life away from you with its cold, dead hands. Nah. Nah, you're more than that. You deserve to go out in like a fiery blaze of glory. Like, say, a police chase when they thought you committed a crime, but in reality you saved like 20 orphaned kittens and you were in a police chase. They were driving down and you were on a bridge, but the bridge was like old and rickety, but you had to take it because you had no other choice and you had to get those kittens back to their mama. But on the way, the bridge was collapsing. And then it did, it collapsed. But the cops were separated from you and the car was teetering right on the precipice. The driver's seat was leaning towards the, the deep fall. But the kittens, they were in the back and it was teetering back and forth and back and forth. But you realized what you had to do to save the kittens, to get them back to the kitten mama. So you open the car door and you jump and you got those kittens back to their mama, just like you had to. And you accept your demise <coughs> because you, you knew what you had to do. You knew very well what you had to do. That's the kind of death you deserve. Something noble. Something pure. Some crap like that. And I still think you'll get a death like that. Because a part of me during all of this has been really hopeless. And you know, it's, it's impossible not to get into those hopeless feelings sometimes. It's possible to just be like, no, she'll be fine, even though she's been out for weeks and weeks. And then the reality of it just kind of hits me, and I'm like, that could be it. experiences with you to stop. I have visited at least once a day for these past two months. The receptionist at the hospital knows my name and how I look. <laughs> so much so that I started the routine of stopping by Starbucks and getting her an espresso. Her name's Samantha. She's a peach. Yeah, very sweet. I guess I know the doctor's name. And he knows mine. He'll always see me just chilling with you talking to you, catching you up on what's been going on. I'm not the only person to visit you, obviously. But, you know, I'm one of the only ones that have carved out a specific section of each day to dedicate to you. How can I not? How can I not? I miss you so damn much. Did, did 
Could you just move your head? Hey. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did, did you just move your head? Wait a minute. there. Hey, hey, come on. Come on, give my hand another squeeze. Do it a little tighter. Come on. Oh, oh, holy. Hey, hey, come on. Hey, hey. Come on, come back to me. Squeeze my hand again. Even tighter this time. Come on, come on. Come on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You, you just damn woke up. Um, you're probably very disoriented. Um, hi, hi. Oh, oh my God, you're awake. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, you've um, you've been in a coma for the past two months. Yeah. I was, uh, just doing one of my daily visits. To make sure you were okay, or to see if you've woken up. Y yeah. yeah well, uh, of course I was visiting you daily, are you kidding me? Deserve nothing less. I'd visit you more than once a day if I could. God, I miss that face. Oh, God, I miss those eyes. Can I hug you again, please? Please, can I hug you? to every damn day. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do you remember anything? Any of the stories I was telling you while you were out? Yeah? Really? That is amazing. I always wondered if that bullcrap was real. <laughs> I was a bit skeptical, I won't lie. <laughs> oh my god. My life has been so damn hard without you. No, 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 don't you feel bad. This was not your fault. This was not your fault. No, no, this was not your damn fault. Look at me. You just so happen to be one of the brightest lights in my life. And when you were taken away, I... 
I had a rough time. Yeah, I did. But it wasn't impossible for me to be happy. I toughed it out, you know, I thugged it out. I looked at it and sometimes I was like, all right, tough titties. <laughs> yeah, tough titties, whatever. I can thug it out. And I did. And you're back. I thought about you every day, every dang day, of course I did, I, no, I'm, I'm okay, I was just You'll understand in a second. With all of that time being forced on me to be away from you, to be separated from your conscious self, it made me think a lot about how I feel about you. It made me really, really begin to wonder what my feelings really are about you. No, no, nothing bad. In fact, it's a lot, a lot of good. Or maybe bad, depending on how you react to this. Yeah, it's that broad. It's that uh, dependent on your reaction. Yes, I've thought a lot about you. I've thought a lot about what we are. I've thought a lot about what we could be. I've thought a lot about your effect in my life. I've thought a lot about everything about you. Because I missed you so much. I missed you so much. I missed that beautiful face. That, that loving stare. Obviously, I was gonna say no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure it's kind of obvious now. I, I love you so much, and I realized that that love is a lot deeper than just platonic. Well, I had to wait for you. Now. Do not think that you have to date me. I know that you kissed me back, and it was a very loving and tender kiss, but... Still, like... You... I love you. I love you so much. And I want to be with you. You don't have to decide now. You just, God, you just woke up. God, you just, you just woke up. Wait, I gotta tell the, the doctor. Holy frick, I gotta tell the doctor. Okay, um, I love you. I love you so much. I love you so, so much. And I want to date you. I do. But we can talk about this later, okay? We can wait till you're a bit more conscientious. 
to really discuss this. But I love you. And I will love you forever. Okay, um, I will be right back. And I will go get at the doctor. And we will both freak out that you have woken up. Okay, um, I will be right back. <laughs> I will be right back. Bye. Um, I love you. I love you. I... I love you. Bye.